Hey, hi, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Thursday, the 18th of February, 2021. We're using one of my favorite decks today. We haven't seen it in a long time, but the beautiful Sawyer's Path Tarot for our message today. And fun shuffle, these six cards all fell out together. <laughs> so the whole reading just picked itself. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to see what's there. And then, of course, we have our cards from the bottom of the deck. And these are all about the energy atmosphere, the overall theme of energy charging the day. What do we have? Our first card is strength. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to need it. Uh, yeah, bring your strength. Bring your strengths. Uh, right? Anyway, this is a card about getting to the heart of a matter, living from the heart space, uh, embracing one's courage, and simultaneously embracing our vulnerabilities. Yeah, I love this card. It's an eight. It's number eight in the major arcana of tarot. And you know how much the eights love us lately, right? We have a lot of momentum and movement with the eights. So energy is moving along nicely. And one of the other messages about strength is not taming our wild side, you know, with ideas and inspirations in particular, you know, the energy in which an idea is born or an idea is inspired comes out of our wild free spirit, doesn't it? Our imagination and our enthusiasm and it's important to keep that intact during the development phase of our ideas and our inspirations. And then when it comes to our relationship to self, uh, when I see the strength card, I often wonder, what are we watering down? What are we tempering, right? What are we trying to clean up and make palatable for other people. So when I see strength, I consider these things for myself personally, and the card encourages us to do that across the board. So you might want to ask yourself today, what are you watering down? What are you trying to make more pleasing, right? And then, uh, then maybe think about not doing that. <laughs> right? Throw caution to the wind. Be your authentic self. Are you feeling playful today? Yeah. Yeah, I am. So go for it. Be, be playful. Be fun. Uh, don't water that down. Don't temper it. Put it out there. <laughs> what comes next? Ooh, the lovers. Another major arcana. Well, the cards are taking a serious turn. Uh, choice, decision. I love this. It's a great combination too. So you've got fire and you've got passion in both of those cards. We have the sun showing prominently in the lover's card. And this is about making decisions and choices in line with what we hold in heart space. So this really is a message about staying true to your heart. You know, it's a message that comes up frequently for us in tarot. Uh, and I feel as I look at these two together, I feel like we're weighing the scales. Like we're trying to decide <laughs> how to be our authentic selves and still make that pleasing to everybody else. And I feel like the cards are telling us, stop it. Don't, don't compromise the truth of who you are for anything or anyone. Just be the raw you. What's in your heart and where do you want to go with that energy? What's your overflow? Where do you want to share that? I actually feel like the cards are throwing down a challenge for us to decide in line with our wild, free, uninhibited, raw beingness. 
All right, next we have, well, look at this, another eight, and it's a repeat for us. It's the eight of wands. So this is a swift moving energy. This isn't something that we're gonna, uh, as my great gram would say, dilly dally. Don't dilly dally with this. <laughs> Just move it and shake it. You know, this is not, um, I feel like the lover's card, we could stand here and deliberate with our choices. And the eight of wands is, you know, more fire, more passion, more momentum, and it's a unity card. So this is the weaving together of energies for us. And as I tell you so often in ancient tarot, this is considered a marriage card. And I feel as if we're, we are married to our wild free spirit and for whatever reason maybe we've been watering it down maybe we've been tempering it because you know we don't want to rock a boat and and today we're rocking a boat we're not just rocking a boat we are the wave <laughs> i love it and then yeah look at that king of cups oh he's one of my favorite kings he runs he runs neck and neck for me with the King of Pentacles. <laughs> uh, and when you see the King of, of Cups, not only is he holding the Ace of Cups, he, he brings the message of a healing of the heart. So we may have been using this beautiful retrograde energy. <laughs> My, has it been interesting. Um, we may have been using this this retrograde energy to really reflect on uh, what we're holding back and you know how our heart space may not be fully expressed. I also feel as I'm looking at these cards right now, I feel like we're going after the should list. I should do this, I should do that. I should, I should, I should. And I feel like every single one of those wands on the eight of wands uh, is, gonna, is going to skewer a should for us. And it's going to bring us back to, truly back to our heart. Where, and we'll begin to ask ourselves again, what am I holding back? How am I not fully expressing and sharing the depth of my beingness? <laughs> bring it folks and also you know the king of the king of cups again holding the ace of cups he and the queen both are exceptionally intuitive they are emotionally awake aware alert and intimate and when you throw that word in there intimate you want to run that through the strength card too how am i not sharing the intimacy of my beingness with those I know, love, and trust? And how am I shooting on certain situations, experiences, even opportunities, because I may be hiding the fullness of my being, because I think that's warranted in some way, or etiquette says I should, there's a should. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the rest of the reading. Our first card here. Now we have the Six of Swords. I like that. So more momentum. You know, it's it's generated here in the Eight of Wands. It's a beautiful healing of the heart. You are the wave. Look at the waves there, right? Um, you are rocking the boat. <laughs> and we are in a boat on the Six of Swords. Oh, I love how the cards support the things I say. Oh my gosh. Yep. Intuition. Anyway, we're in the boat. We're on the move. And the momentum is coming off our strength. The strength of our choices to live from, from our heart. Be authentic to self. Be real. Uh, do what you love. Love what you do. Whatever that is. And it's not about work. It's not about how we are of service. Do what you love. <laughs> And anyway, this momentum carries into the Six of Swords, which is moving from unfavorable conditions to much more favorable conditions. You know, 
Typically we see stormy weather, stormy waters here on the six and calmer waters ahead. This is, this card epitomizes upgrade and the energetic investment that goes into the upgrades that we make to our reality. And this here, bringing our strength, bringing our pure, raw, heart-centered self to every moment, that's an upgrade. <laughs> Not shooting on ourselves. That's an upgrade. <laughs> and then we have coming along with that beautiful six is the queen of pentacles, the mother of the material, the mother of resource. And I love how she's done in this deck. You know, pause the video, get a good look at her. She is, she's got a thought bubble here. She is holding a vision in heart space her coin is right there the ace of coins is right there next to her heart space so she has heart mind harmony and she visions she has a vision for what it is she desires to create how she wishes to live on her foundation and she's moving in that direction <laughs> perfect she's a reminder to us as well that we have all the resources we could possibly require within. So let's tap those resources and move in that direction. Let's have an upgrade. Mm. And here we come with a little bit more retrograde energy in the Five of Cups. I love this. See, these cups are dipping down into the water. Then we have two upright cups that are lit up. A reference to, a connection to the Two of Cups, which we've seen this week. And I feel that we are having uh, a hindsight moment. We are in reflection and we are in kind of a savoring moment on that five. Okay, so fives, as you know, are unstable in tarot. This five happens to be showing up in the center of the reading so it has all the support of the cards that have come before and it will have all the support of the cards that come after. So we're willing to do some emotional destabilization to recognize whatever it is that we're holding back and not sharing fully in our presence, in our beingness. And we are in consideration for how that previously felt, knowing that we don't want to go forward feeling that way. We want to live in the upgraded energy. So in order to do that, we have to have a little bit of reflection. The retrograde is awesome for that. So the destabilization comes, uh, it comes with strength. It comes with the choices we're making in the direction of what we hold in hard space. It's got a whole lot of momentum. And there's a great healing of the heart happening here as we listen deeply to our intuition. We know, we know this is what we want to do or how we wish to be. And we're moving in that direction because we're tapping our resources and we're having some reflection and respect for the journey thus far. It's not to say that it was wrong previously to hold it back. Maybe it was perfectly right. You've just reached a point of self development and maturity that you know you can go beyond this now so you are and that brings stability off an unstable five as we move forward with the two of cups to oh yeah the judgment card of course <laughs> what a perfect combination there because uh you know the judgment card is all about what we are being called out of and what we are being called to and this is these other cards are supporting the judgment card beautifully in that we're being called to live fully in our authentic presence, not hold that back, be strong enough to be vulnerable, to share and express your true nature, right? Here it is on the judgment card. <laughs> then we have, oh, sweet. Yeah, there it is, four of wands. Now this is twice this week this has happened. We have the Four of Wands, <clears throat> pardon, super stable card, uh, strong foundation, often called the 1111 card because we walk through this portal. This is where the upgrade happens. You know, it's the happiest card in the minor suits of tarot. 
and it is accompanied by the Eight of Wands, which is a double four. So it's the Four of Wands being represented three times over in the reading. Isn't that fantastic? So this, this is amazing confirmation out of tarot that we are on the perfect foundation to destabilize emotionally how we once expressed ourselves and having the understanding through judgment that we weren't satisfied with that. So we've gained enough momentum to dive deeper into our own strength and make the choice lovers to stand on this beautiful foundation in happiness, joy, bliss, and share the fullness of who we are, wherever we are at all times. <laughs> and these kind of upgrades keep coming because when we do this kind of spiritual journey work, we discover that there is always more. So celebrate, enjoy, savor this upgrade because something else is coming along that's going to upgrade us even more beyond this. Wow, right? And then our last card. Look at that. Justice. <laughs> Didn't I say at the beginning of the reading, it feels as if we're weighing the scales and here's justice. <laughs> I love tarot. I just love the tarot cards. Oh, so another major arcana, we've got what, four of them here on the table. And there, there she is, scales of justice, holding the ace of swords in her hand, brilliant clarity, everlasting. What? Strength. <laughs> oh, perfect. I really do sense intuitively that the scales hold whatever got destabilized for us or will be destabilized for us on our Five of Cups. And as we take another pass judgment at, at those experiences that contributed to that way of being, we will bring harmony to ourselves. Justice is all about harmony and, <clears throat> and not just harmony. But in this case, I feel harmony is is key here because we are all about living joyfully and peaceably within self-relationship. Mm -hmm. Pretty sweet stuff. And you know, as I always say, while we're doing this journey work, this is how we end up investing and contributing to all the experiences, to all of the relationships in our world. Angel Answers, folks. This is a fresh message, if you wish it. <laughs> Confirmation of something going on in your world or <laughs> an opportunity to ask a question. One of my dearest and oldest friends, uh, I was speaking with her yesterday and she said she was watching one of the videos this week and it was the day that we had the emphatic yes come out of Angel Answers. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anybody tell me this but before, but, but when they get the emphatic yes and their, their experiences is like, no, I didn't want it to be an emphatic yes. Well, that was her experience. I think it's hysterical. Uh, our first card, oh, and on that same day we got big happy changes. So, <laughs> Kate, if you're watching... <laughs> It's still happening. Okay, yes, you know it's your happy that makes the big change. So here it is. And that's what's going on right here in the center of the reading with the Five of Cups, with the Judgment card. We're bringing balance. We're bringing harmony on our foundation, our super strong foundation. We're doing it swiftly. We're not, we're not dilly-dallying at all. We're going for the big happy changes. <laughs> I hope we get the emphatic yes again. On the floor, what have we got? In the near future. <laughs> I love that card uh, because it's not really about time. It's more about this wave of energy. And when I see the timing cards come out of this deck, I feel that they are indicative of the process. So. 
all of us are at varying degrees of personal development in this wave. So this is going to stick with us for a bit. And that's what the in the near future card is about for me intuitively. Another beautiful repeat in the you're ready card. You are ready. Yeah, you are ready to live your fully expressed heart centered self. You are ready to bring the fullness of your presence to all of your experiences authentically, unapologetically, in intimately. Thank you, King of Cups. <laughs> and there it is. The emphatic yes. It showed up for us. I love that. These cards have been absolute magic today. Just, just magic. The things I've had to say, the cards have proven out. It's so beautiful. All right. Now from the Spirit Junkie Deck Hour Affirmation for the day. Oh, hey, this is a pretty sweet one because this takes strength. When I see good in others, I acknowledge it out loud. There's a fine example of watering something down or never sharing it. How many times have you seen something really good and not acknowledged it out loud? You just kind of kept it to yourself. And yes, I understand there are sentimental moments that we do keep to ourselves in deep appreciation for what unfolds in front of us. We understand it to be a gift. However, there is this too. When you do see something good, right, amazing, how often do you just stay quiet about it? <laughs> I challenge you today to Acknowledge that out loud somewhere, somehow with someone. <laughs> All right, everybody. Happy Thursday. Have a beautiful day. I'll be back again soon with the weekend reading. Peace, love, joy, happiness, grace, ease, playfulness. Be your authentic you. Namaste. And bye for now.